For percentages, I'm going to do these two examples for converting percentages to fractions. With percentages to decimals, it's just a matter of um, essentially moving the digits, either multiplying by 100 or dividing by 100. With fractions, we can encounter some um, problems that are a little bit more difficult. So you'll see both of these percentages have fractional bits. So here we've got um, four hundredths of a percent. So we've got the you know fractional part in decimal form here, and here we've got three and a quarter percent, a mixed number um, with both three and the quarter as a fraction. So first I'll do um, 0.04%. One of the things I think is a good idea to do, since essentially when we're converting um, between percentages and decimals, between percentages and fractions, we're either multiplying or dividing by 100, the important thing is just to remember which way we're going in. So sometimes um, what I like to do is have a sort of reference equation, something that I know really well. So for both of these, what I'm going to keep in mind at all times is that I know that 50% is a half and that that's equal to 0 0.5. And if I look at those two numbers, I know that when I'm going from percentage into decimal or percentage into other form, the number gets a lot smaller. So it's dividing by 100 that I need to do, not multiplying by 100. So as a first step here, um, we can do it the way um, we do any percentage, whether it's 20 or 30. Um, we start by dividing by 100. So this is equal to 0 0.04 divided by 100. Now this is not an acceptable fraction because a fraction needs to have um, whole numbers as both the numerator and the denominator. And so what I really need to do now is find um, some multiplier that can make sure that this top number, the numerator, isn't a decimal anymore. So really what I want to do is I want to move the 4 from being hundredths to being units. And so to do that I need to multiply by 100 again. So if I multiply the denominator and numerator by 100, <clears throat> then I can express this as 4 on the top over 10,000. <clears throat> um, and now all I need to do is um, find the highest common factor of these numbers so that I can express it in simplest form. 10,000 is divisible by 4 because as we can see the last two digits um, are 0 so it's, you know passes the divisibility test for 4. So if I just bo divide both the numerator and denominator here then I'll get the simplified form of my fraction which is 1 over and here 10,000 divided by 4 gives me 2,500. <clears throat> so 0.04% or 4 hundredths of a percent is 1 over 2,500. <clears throat> For this next question going from 3 and a quarter percent, there's a few different ways I can do this. I can either convert this into a decimal first and approach it the same way I do here, but what I might do instead is convert this to an improper fraction first. So I do that by saying, okay, how many quarters is three holes? That's going to be 12 quarters because 3 times 4 is 12. So this number, firstly, keeping it as a percentage, is going to be 3 times 4 plus 1, so that's 13 over 4 percent. <clears throat> so that's my first step. And then I remember, as with before, when I'm going from percentage to decimal or percentage to fraction, I need to um, divide by 100, as I did over here. So when I divide this by 100, so it's in a percentage form at the moment, I'm going to have it as 13 and 4 divided by 100, <coughs> which with um, fractions becomes 13 on 4 times 1 over a hundred and then I might just get this out of the way and then that gives me 13 on 400 <clears throat> and at this stop because 13 is a prime number and 400 is not a multiple of 13 
Um, I've got two relatively prime numbers, so this is already in simplest form. So three and a quarter percent is actually equal to the fraction 13 over 400, or 13 400s. Okay?